This is a science project that I made with my kid who is in fifth grade in GI school, Armenia, Colombia. What we are trying to do is to uh, demonstrate the function of the human heart. Then what we have done here is to uh, dye water with blue to represent deoxygenated blood and the red water would represent oxygenated blood. Now uh, we're trying to follow the path of the blood from let's say the brain and the arm. It's coming uh, after we think or we exercise. Now it's deoxygenated. It has no or very little oxygen. It goes down through a very big vein, which is the cava vein. And then it goes to the heart. The heart has four chambers, two upper chambers, which are called atriums, and two lower chambers, which are called ventricles. They communicate uh, in each side, but not uh, between sides. Now, we are going to represent the path of the blood from the vein to the upper atrium would be like this like uh, we can see here it's coming from here to here then it goes to the uh, upper left uh, right uh, atrium like here we just saw it to the ventricle then we are going to represent a valve which is called the tricuspid valve that uh, won't allow the blood to go back when the uh, heart contracts, which is called systole. Then it contracts and it pumps the blood into the lungs. In the lungs, we have a process that is the oxygenation of the blood that we have inspired. It uh, then turns red and from the lungs, comes back to the heart, to the left atrium, just like this. And then it goes during diastole to the left ventricle. And then there's a valve here, which is called the metro valve, and it won't allow the blood to go backwards. And then goes to the aorta artery, and then the blood, now oxygenated, goes to the whole body. And this is the science project. I hope, we hope, it's, uh, it's good for you to understand how, the, how our heart works. Thank you.